In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about airs and stopovers. Camper, the campaign for real airs, are making great steps in the UK to help motivate the provision of suitable stopover locations that will not only help us as motorhome and campervan users, but also local businesses and economies. Stay with us and we'll share more about what airs are, the aims of the campaign, and how motorhomers and campervanners, local authorities and local businesses can all help. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up, it really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. Before we start talking about the campaign, what is an air? We stay on many campsites and love the facilities and environments that they can offer, but they're not always exactly what we're looking for. They may have facilities we don't want, they get booked up well in advance, stifling short notice impulse travel plans, they often have minimum stay periods of multiple nights that restrict us and are often located away from civilization and other local amenities that can be more like a resort, encouraging spending money only on the campsite. At times this is great and suits us, but at other times it's not. An air de service, which originated in French and are more commonly just called an air, is somewhere that generally has little to no facilities, is designed for vans that are self-contained to park for shorter periods, are usually first come first served, are often located close to local businesses and promote spending in the local economy. Whether that's grocery shopping, eating out, drinks in the pub, ice creams, an impulse purchase at an antique store, or even just filling up with diesel at the local garage. Airs are not somewhere to set up camp and spend all your time and money within the campsite, but somewhere to stop overnight while you explore the locality. So, although both give you somewhere to park, Campsites and airs fulfil very different purposes for different markets. In mainland Europe, the provision of airs is prolific, and we've been lucky enough to use some great ones, provided by local provinces, cities, businesses, and local sports clubs. They really are a great aid to travelling around a country and making it really easy to explore places that you just wouldn't get to if you relied only on campsites. Sadly, here in the UK, the provision of airs has always been somewhat lacking. But thanks to the campaign for real airs, things are starting to change. Campra are providing support and encouragement to businesses and local authorities across the UK to demonstrate the value that airs can bring. They can dispel some myths and help them to get up and running, providing local economies with income that previously would have just driven straight past. They are even working with wider authorities to help develop recommended tourist travel routes between airs to help to entice visitors into wider local areas. We all know that more and more height barriers and signs like these have been appearing, so if you're not a motorhomer or campervanner and have found yourself here, I'd encourage you to watch our video up here and link to the video notes where we take you for a quick look around our van and talk about what being self-contained actually means and how that encourages us to add value to the local community and economies, rather than disrupt them. So how can we help? Well, if you're from a business, organisation or local authority considering setting up an air, thanks for watching this far. I would encourage you to check out the Camper Library if you haven't already. The link is in the video notes. And if there are any questions that aren't answered there, reach out to the campaign through the contacts form on the website. Finally, as motorhomers and campervanners, what can we do? Well, there are two key calls to action. Firstly, promote the provision of more airs. This can be done by contacting your local authority or approaching businesses that you feel would benefit from hosting an air. There are lots that already have the necessary space and could very easily set themselves up. There are letter and email templates on the Camper website to help you to do this. Second, as more airs become available in the UK, we must make use of them, being respectful, using them as they should be, leaving no trace and demonstrating the value that we as a community can bring it to other local communities. Here are the basic principles we stick to when using an air to make sure we present the right image and don't cause contention with the local community. 
We always park correctly and within the limits of the rules of the air, making any payment where it's required. The only thing that we have in contact with the ground are the wheels of the van. We never extend the space the van occupies beyond the vehicle itself, so no awning, chairs, tables, generators, freestanding solar panels or any other camping equipment. Unless there is a specific emptying point, we never empty any type of fluid or waste. We might know it's only fresh water we're emptying, but the local population probably won't, and it gives a really bad impression when they see it. Finally, we are always prepared to take our dry waste home with us if the local facilities can't accommodate it. I'd like to say a big thank you to the team at Campra for giving up so much of their time to the campaign. I am sure I'm speaking for all of us when I say it's greatly appreciated. I for one look forward to the time that the UK can be as proud of its air network as other European countries and we can be as welcoming to visitors from outside of the UK as they are to us, which is just another way that more airs can help to drive both the local and the UK economy. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing.